I took a different path, not like everyone. I went to a military school in Alabama. From there, I left to Argentina, and then I ended up coming back to the US, and then I'm here. <laughs> well, my dad works in the oil industry, and I have part of my family works in the oil industry. One of my grandfathers used to work in the oil. Research has really opened my way of thinking. I started with petroleum engineering research. In my freshman year, we're trying to find more economically and more environmental friendly methods to recover oil. Or what we're working on is to find the right salinities or the right technologies that we already have so we don't have to inject either other chemicals or anything on the ground. When I was younger, I wanted to become a doctor. My different exposure related to medicine and to petroleum so far, I see there's lots of similar things that we can help each other with. For example, porous media and human bones. With my views and my passions, I can be involved and hopefully connect these two fields more. Growing up in McAllen, Texas, allowed me to experience problems at these border crossings. The main problem is that you cannot scan every single car. Dogs and these officers, they squeeze in between these cars and they're kind of zigzagging in between lanes. Me and a friend of mine applied for a patent to protect an invention of ours. This system will activate so we can get all the particles in the air around this car and isolate that smell, then send that smell to an acclimated room where a dog can detect it. So we isolate each car individually and quickly. I'm very passionate about helping people and I see innovation as a good way to help others. If I'm an engineer, hopefully I can help somebody directly with my engineering problem solving skills. And that's what I'm very passionate about.